the MHSEL Smash Bros. Finals. It's been a long time. I'm here. I'm I'm Tristan Toma. I'm Anthony. Anthony Cod. It's gonna be a gonna gonna be a good finals. You know, two teams who've worked so hard to make it this far, and you know, I'm 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 glad that they're both here in the finals today. Yeah, Detroit Catholic Central versus uh, Divine Child. Versus Divine Child. Yeah, so it'll be a good match. Um, for uh, oh. <laughs> well, let's. I mean, let's take a let's run down their lineup. I mean, starting with uh, like let's take okay, starting with Divine Child, seven and one match records, pretty solid. Yeah, Series it's record, a good, it's a good 22 match. Twenty two and eight. You know, number seven seed to make it to the finals as the number seven seed is impressive. Yeah, it's a big underdog um, Cinderella run to get here. Definitely. I'm taking a look at the Catholic Central. Solid 8-0 and record. Haven't dropped it. Dropped some games. We've, we dropped four sets total this entire run. You know, myself as a coach, going to try to be unbiased. But anyways, we got Lance, Padge, Arrow, Rogue. Arrow couldn't be here, unfortunately. But Flame Kid and Sudoku. Going to be a... Could it be an interesting match today? I'm curious to see how these teams will match up against each other. Yeah, and I mean, only only dropping four sets the entire run. That's that's really impressive. It's it's hard to be consistent for um for every set, but definitely. Yeah, only losing four. That's that's a really good record. Oh yeah, there's nothing better. Yeah. But you know, I'm excited to see how it goes today with two teams with such impressive records, and especially a seven seed making it this far in, into like into the finals. It's you know it's just. There's nothing better, honestly. Yeah, I mean, no one, no one expects a seven seed to to make it to the finals, but um, I mean, yeah, like always making a good run is great, but y you always want to take it home. You don't want to settle for second. And thank you, shout out to everyone on Twitch right now. Shout out to everyone in chat, everyone who's in the stands right now, watching, supporting either whether your friend, family, anything else, even your kid, even your kid. Appreciate we appreciate all of you just coming out today. It's, you know, it's going to be a great turn, uh, great finals. Yeah. But you know, as we're moving into this match, it's just it, like gotta consider matchups. Gotta gotta think. We gotta think about how the players are feeling right now. It's a finals. It's probably some of these kids' first ever finals on like a either some people's first like IRL tournament or some people's first finals. Yeah, I mean, not not every player um, enters tournaments, but uh, it, you know that's that's why you get Cinderella runs is because you don't know who all these players are, and you know they might they might practice a lot, they might be really good at the game, but not everyone enters tournaments. Um, and goes yeah. to like in-person stuff, oh, so yeah. yeah, it might be their first uh, first in-person uh, finals, and it it really makes you nervous, you know. A little bit, yeah. You know, like these kids, it might be their first time playing. Like shaking off those nerves is pretty hard. You'd be shocked. Yeah, it it really is nerve-wracking. Once again. Similar oh. to the first stock, or when Team took the first stock, only up by a little bit, and Lance took the stock not so long after. See if he repeats here. Up smash, yeah! No, wow, <laughs> another up smash. Yeah, those, uh, those up smashes, that's really hard to avoid. Now it's anyone's game right here at the beginning right here. Ooh, now, team. to my knowledge, Lance has not dropped the game yet today. So we're going to see how he does right now. This could be the first game that Lance does drop if Team is still playing as good as he is. So good with those aerials. Going back in neutral, setting up. Oh, big Good down combo. throw. Going to connect with the with the Mega Koopa. Lance oh, gets the side lead, B, though. Only by a little bit. Oh, Bear's going to hit. Lance struggling to find his way in right now. Getting boxed out. Oh, big spin out. Oh, oh that's a big snap. F smash. That is going to take the first game for Lance. That, a big oh, comeback. Big comeback. That is that F smash is ginormous. So, yeah, it was huge. That was so big. So big for Lancer to get that first win. You know, setting definitely, it was it looked a little worrying at first. It did. Yeah, I mean, Lance, Lance was playing from the back end, but he Bowser Jr. has some crazy smash attacks that, oh, yeah. I mean, kill super early. Definitely, yeah. I mean, Mega Man, on the other hand, if you don't land a combo into up tilt or, you know, whatever whatever kind of kill confirms Mega Man has, it can be it can be a struggle to kill Pretty if you're struggle, not edge yeah. guarding. Team, now, it was a little interesting. For the majority, Team was winning neutral. Team got a lot of bears, was very successful, but Bowser Jr. is that type of character. You get some straight hits, you get it. And Lance's advantage shape was really solid. Definitely made Team feel nervous. Yeah, I mean, Team too, though, his, his neutral was so good. I mean, catching catching Lance's uh, short hops and, and jumps out of uh, the side B 
with a forward air and back air. It was it was really smart and good. It was working for him. Now, if you're a team here, you you're definitely a little nervous. You gotta lock. You have to lock in super hard. Down. This could this game could possibly decide the rest of the entire set, the rest of the finals here at Oakland. But definitely gotta lock in here and make sure you take this game. Yeah, it is it is intense going down that game. You, you really don't want to be here. But like I said before, you can't let your nerves get the best of you. You got you got to pick yourself up and and just play your heart out. Of course. But it's it's tough. Lance, it looks like Divine Child's taking a lot of time to think about it. Take uh, taking some time to think about who they're going to like the strategies teams got to use. Definitely teams doing some self-reflection right now. Like what did I do wrong? How can I do better this next game? Yeah, and, and also you, you got to remember to pick the right stage, you know. Um, everyone likes specific stages, and you just want to pick one that um, uh, you have your best, I guess, advantages yeah. to. And they both, Bowser Jr. and Mega Man are very different. Bowser Jr. are like a ladder character, loves those platforms, love the, loves those platform extensions, can, get, can go from 0 to 70 really quick. Mega Man, more of a setup character, loves setting, like setting up his things, similar to Snake, similar to Pac-Man, similar to Steve. Loves those flat stages. Yeah, he's, he's definitely more of a projectile character. Yeah, definitely. But Divine Child taking their time, and I don't blame them. It's, this is a really tough situation for the, the entire team. But And I'm sure Detroit Catholic, Detroit Catholic Central is feeling great. Up up 1-0, about to be up 2 on the entire set, so would only need to win one more game out of the rest of three players. So they got a lot a lot to win and even a lot to lose right now if they don't, if they don't if they don't like uh, keep up, they don't lock in hard right now. Yeah. But definitely, it's it's top. Oh, and okay, looks like we're getting started with the next match here. What right. stage are we go going back to Just small? Just gonna run it back. All we're right, going back to small battlefield. Any character switches? Of course, Lance is staying in the Bowser Jr. And we're sticking with the Mega Man All going back. into game two. Yeah, here. going back to the same the same. Uh, brown and yellow Mega Man. Interesting uh, skin choice for brown and yellow. Interesting. Well, anyways, getting started with game two here, right, right back in. Now, I wonder, how about Lance just? Because even Lance, he won, but it wasn't by a lot. Not by a lot at all. Yeah. If anything, he was on the back end for most of the game. Yeah, up, up until the very end where that smash attack, the forward smash hit, he was behind. Now Lance, I saw Lance adapt really hard to. Uh, uh, oh, team getting stuck team. on those yeah. platforms. Big yeah, ladder. It's really here. hard to run off the platform in this game, and he got stuck there twice and Lance took a took a hit. Adapting for it. pretty well here, not getting hit by what he used to, and up. Unlike in the last stock where he lost the first stock, Lance might. Oh, not oh, gonna going to go high enough the, to get the upy connection. Yeah, that would have been a crazy combo. Definitely. Probably would have took the stock. Lance playing really safe here, really calm, not going for anything risky. Holding shield, playing calm. What you yeah, love to see. just setting up the Mecha Koopa and hiding behind it. It's it's a good it's a good plan. Wow, M M Mega Man Nair not gonna do a lot of. No, that's the stop. Oh, oh no, falls no. out of the jab, but dead he does, anyways. Yeah, he does air dodge. Lance with a really strong start. Team, I'm sure if I'm, if your team here, you're definitely nervous. Oh, that's could have been a lot of damage. Able hey, well, air dodge out though. Oh, oh, getting stuck oh, in the up air train. Gonna follow the upper train, but oh, and that's a nah, that's gonna go for big damage right there. Yeah, not going for the jab lock, just the jab. Oh, Ooh, what, a what, a cool, what a good connection. Lance is cooking up something right now. This is a five-star meal. Yeah, that, that that this is some crazy gameplay right what? now. Oh. oh, Lance is cooking something nasty right now. Team, a little, probably a little nervous right now. I don't blame him. I'd be nervous, too. Yeah, going for that up air string again. It is, it is not. Those up airs, they do like, so much oh. damage. Oh, up smash knock. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Getting off wow. the ledge. Wow. 49 second game. That was crazy. Lance with a dominant two with a dominant game two over Sheen there. That the adaptation was crazy. Yeah, I mean getting off the ledge against Bowser Jr. with that Mecha Koopa can be really hard. Yeah, and Lance making his team feel really calm going into this game three. This is it. This could be Detroit Catholic Central's first ever win state title in Smash. It's not over yet, though. There's we still got, one more player. We got, a, a, we got possibly a lot more sets. This could. This is Detroit Catholic Central. Well, this is, I guess, a Divine Child's tournament set. You go all out. You you go all. You you give your everything. You put your all into this set. 
you come out losers or you come out the vic or the victors of this set and you still divine child has so much work to do here yeah i mean coming coming from a n number 7 seed you probably did not expect to be here yeah but Fair. it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you don't want to take it home you always want to get you know, first they got this far why not keep going to the like just re get to number 1 spot win yeah i mean but it, it was a great run regardless to both of these teams. Definitely super, super very impressive for DCC to like maintain all the pressure of being number one seed and like not getting upset. And for Divine Child to make the upsets, to prove that they're more than just a number seven seed. They're a team to be afraid of. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's great to take note of. Like, you know, some people think being a number one seed is easy because like you're gonna have the easiest um, like bracket, so to speak. But I mean, it adds a lot of pressure because you you don't want to disappoint if you're the number one seed. It's really it's really like you you have to have a lot of mental fortitude. Oh, to, yeah. uh, to win as a number one seed, it's Definitely. it's never easy to win no matter what seed you are. It's yeah, it's it's tough. But Lance giving his team like the mental ease and the mental like definitely making them feel a little more relaxed. Like okay, and but definitely getting them hyped up same team like Lance did that good. I got to do that much better. Yeah, exactly. You, you always got to gotta be there for your team and, and hopefully do your part. And if you don't, you got to remember, it's, it's not always your fault. You played your best. You know, it's not the end of the world at the end of the day, but I'm sure these players are feeling like this is, it might be the end of the world. They yeah, don't exactly. This is the world for some players, and, you know, I'm glad some people can find their passion where, where, in the things they love the most. All right, running it back to small battlefield. Going back to small, and we're going to see probably the inkling here from Detroit Gothic Central, and I think we got to... Probably a Mario coming in from Divine Child. All right, we got three three players connected right Someone's now. Someone's got to disconnect. Yep, and we're seeing that now. Okay, we're getting started. What? That's a fake cause, so don't worry. Someone's disconnected. You know, this is a very important set. This is this is both the Divine Child's and CC's tournament set. Well, mostly just Divine Child who is, but. Nerve wracking stuff. All right, so we got. Looks like we got Padge on the inkling, and he's gonna play against. Uh, we have a guy with the tag Ganon, not going Ganon, going to the Mario. Yeah, G Ganon tag playing Mario. You know, it's actually pretty common to see people have their tag be a character and not go the character. It's crazy, but starting with the game, here it is. Start of a very important set and could possibly be Detroit Catholic Central's tournament set. Yeah. Just uh, dashing back and forth, feeling each see. other out, just like last game. Got to feel your opponent out, see what they're see what they're doing, catch their habits. It's a fresh start. Yeah, inkling with the jab though. That jab it does huge damage, and you got to remember now he has the uh, the ink on him, which he, he will be taking more damage now if he can get a hit in. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, inkling has a gun and inkling's jab. The more the more yellow that Mario gets, the more damage he will take from any of uh, Inkling's attacks. Yeah, so it is not ideal to be a yellow Mario here. Mario's already uh, kind of a little yellow. Don't you, can't you see that? Yeah. But, you know, Padge ha having a strong start. Only up by a little bit, but definitely looking pretty confident here in the seeing those dashes. Uh-oh. Oh, now Mario. A, yeah, you don't want to get a Mario character. combo started. Playing super patient though. This is good gameplay that you want to see. Yeah, and go you, for the you gun. Don't, yeah, you don't want to be over aggressive and over ambitious here. Oh, missing the roller there, but uh oh, and a big com no. Okay, well, an attempted combo there from Mario not gonna work out in his favor. Mario back up stage. You also gotta remember too that um, combos on Inkling aren't the easiest. So definitely, and not a very big character. Oh, oh, getting hit by roller. And that is a big first stock for Detroit Catholic Central with Patch taking the first stock. Yeah, that, that was that was a good roller, and that, that move, you're not going to be able to mash out at that point. Yeah, it's one of the I, – I feel like I, – I don't know. I don't know what's different, but mashing for that move seems specifically harder than any other move to mash out of. Yeah, it is it is very hard to mash out of that one. Ooh, oh, the getting the grab, there, though. Not a big punish. Not much to worry about if you're patched here. Or, well, oh, oh no, looking well, that, for the forward smash. I, I'd be worrying about that. Yeah, those forward, that forward smash is going to kill, so you got to try your best to avoid it. Yep, and all oh, patch here doing so good, getting so much damage here. Wow, good, great gun there. Now, Mario is very yellow. Ooh, looking for the roller again. That would have killed for sure. Good job on uh, Ganon oh, for the awareness. Oh, going to bait out the roller, but Mario not falling for the bait. Nice bear there. Going to jump. Oh, no jump. This could be bad. Oh, going to get the ledge. Oh, wow. Roller. And Patch with a 3-1 to one lead here. Yeah, no mash out on that roller. 
Like we said, that's a tough move to mash out of. Going, just going back to neutral here. Mario, uh, Ganon struggling to find the kill. If I'm Ganon, I'm, you know, Mario's love to start spamming up smash when they're a little nervous and they want to take the stock. Down air. Oh, I think that would have killed, but he falls out of it. Lucky for Padge. Now Padge taking it easy. Still living 160. Most things, most moves from Mario can kill now. Oh, the roller. Oh, oh what a get-up attack. Yeah. Okay, and there's gonna, gonna the take it. From Ganon. Ganon might be down, but he's not out yet. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see. You know, Ganon can still. It's, I've seen comebacks that are even like having from even like worse, uh, like uh, percents. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's a big deficit. But if you're Mario, oh, the roller though. That's not gonna be it. Mario can not get a combo no cooking. Recipient. Big back throw. Badge looking to take the stock here. Really, Ganon's very much struggling here. Yeah, can't can't seem to get that neutral when that's gonna give him the opportunity for a big combo. Oh, gonna charge down smash. No recipient, oh, but the up smash will have one. That's gonna take it, and this puts uh this puts Detroit Catholic. This is Divine Child's tournament game. Yeah, it's this all is or nothing point. here. If there's a time to start playing out of your mind, it's right now. It would be right now, yeah. And with all the pressure too. All the pressure on, of the world on Divine Child here, but this is where like stars are made. If you can hold, if you can maintain the pressure and like calm yourself down in this moment, you're, there's it, there's no better quality in the world. Yeah, exactly. I mean. Like that that match wasn't super close, but like he definitely um got hit by a few rollers and, and died relatively early. So if oh, yeah. if you can hold on to your stocks a little bit longer and get a few more combos going, you know, he, he definitely is still in this and can yeah. still win. You think you could do that uh bucket spin? Uh maybe with like a basketball. Basketball? I can't even do the basketball. I, I can't either. It's <sighs> unfortunate. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty impressive, actually. Spinning, spinning it for that long. I don't think Ingrid can do that, honestly. I feel like that's just kind of like a. Maybe she's got like a magnet. I, I feel like it's, it's, mm, it's too hard. Maybe you're right. Maybe maybe I'm just like being too giving her too much credit. Yeah, I don't know. She's a little uh, out of reality, but yeah, definitely divine child taking their time, probably getting coached right now, th thinking how to reset the mental when you're. When you okay, and when you got when you got beaten, when you get too stalked, you have to really reset. You have to really think about what you did wrong and how you can improve for the next game. Yeah, going, going to, to FD. Final destination. Getting rid of the platform. This, this might be the final destination. That is true. Snake. Switching a switch snake. to snake. Nice skin all. Good, good uh, character swap. I think. Um, oh wait, no. This, wait, actually, I think this is a pretty hard matchup for Snake. This is one of his worst. Oh. Uh, Maybe it's more of a person. Like yeah. maybe they weren't. Maybe they're just really good at snake. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe it's a uh, personal pick. Yep. Um, with the grenades. And Patch having a decent amount of snake experience from players like Avian. Yeah, this is a hard matchup, but can do. his his Mar he might be more comfortable with the snake than the Mario. Definitely. We're gonna see what the snake's cooking here. Dash attack. Ooh. Okay. Cooking with the. Off oh. to a good start here. What what a drag down combo. That was that was some good stuff right there. I was looking a little nervous, not sure how to react to this newly put picked snake. Yeah, getting that big damage. Dude, yep, with, with the, dash with the attack splatter shot. It. I think the splatter shot too is really good at dealing with snakes grenades. For sure. Oh, what a good uh, dash back grab. Gonna catch uh, oh and Ooh, oh the grenade grenade's saving gonna him save though. Him. Maybe that's why he wanted to go snake, was sick of getting rollered. Yeah. But even then, you still have to have the grenades in the right place, or it could be bad. Up throw. And there's the first stock. Patch Booyah. taking it. The booyah combo. Patch looking so good right now. Oh, what a good dash back to read the dash attack. Adapting yeah. at such a fast rate right now. Snake has a great dash attack, but How will a Ganon big, react? yeah, a big um habit that a lot of players fall into is maybe using the dash attack okay. a little bit too much. But there we go. Already doing a lot better than than the than the Mario. Yeah, the the snake already taking a stock. It's pretty even game, but gets gets hit by the roller. The jab lock. Oh, oh the wanted, double roller. A big read. That could have been Not scary. Not gonna get it. Going for some down airs, pulling some grenades, just trying to get any hit that'll lead into a combo here. Oh, big down smash. 
Ooh, looking for the Booyah again. Playing really aggressive right now. Not giving Ganon any room to breathe. Ooh, Rushing Padge. down. Padge looking for that combo. You know Inklings oh, love it. Oh, that would have been a, some big damage. Yeah, that could have taken the stock. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, testing the waters. Throwing it's some rays. so raise. hard, though. How did, how does Snake get in against an Inkling dashing back and forth like that? I don't know. It's tough. Got to space your dash decks right. We saw from Padgero if you missed a dash oh, deck. Oh, the be bad news. Combo. And another up throw up here to take a stock. This and is Padge, it. And Padge, that's such a good percent. Tournament stock right here. Tournament stock for Divine Child. Yeah, your whole season comes down to this. You gotta be aware of the timer on the downbeat. You know, it does didn't detonate after 20 seconds. Oh my god, a big bear train. We were trying to end it right there. Four tilt wanted to dash attack. Yep, we're gonna miss looking for the mix there. up. Patch looking really good right now. Can he close? I'm sure he's desperate to get the get that win right now. Yeah, you, you always wanna close it out for your team. Ganon. Dashing around in neutral, down here, struggling to get any move that hits right now. Yeah, this Commentary is so is intense. Oh, there you go. Especially if you're um, Ganon, you know, you don't want to make a wrong move and get hit by a roller. Big down smash. This is it. One more hit. Oh, uh, out of ink though. I think that was a thought. I think I think that's when you're out of ink. Oh really? Yeah. Off stage, snake off stage. That is not good. Ooh, up throw. That's not gonna connect though. No. The oh, foyer, and a big though, fair! That that's is gonna, gonna be it. it! Detroit Catholic Central wins the MHSEL Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Finals. Yeah, clean sweep without dropping a game. And that will be Detroit Catholic Central's first state title in Smash. We've won it in Rocket League. They've won it in Valorant, but and, and Overwatch, but not in Smash yet. It's a big day for them. Yeah, congratulations to De Detroit Catholic. That's that's a great run. But you also got to highlight Divine Child. Oh, I mean, yes, as course. the number seven seed, making it this far is is extremely impressive. Very, and I mean, yeah. it's it's something to to be proud of, regardless. You know, making it and still winning the semis, making it to the finals. You know, they're not going home with nothing. They're going home with the not like the knowledge and the confidence to come back stronger next season, knowing that they can. This is this is like their potential. Their potential is not even. At their, at their highest, at its highest yet. I mean, also the experience. It, it's just, it, it's it's great to get this experience to oh, come oh, out yeah. and, and play against other other For players. Sure. I, I'm sure um, Divine Child doesn't have like a lot of experience playing against other schools. I'm sure Detroit Catholic doesn't either. Yeah. So it's it's always nice to uh, come out to these and get the opportunity to play against other players around your level or maybe even people better than you. It's yeah. it's always it's always fun to play new people. Definitely, and it's just that was a solid 3-0 by. Uh, Detroit Catholic not dropping a game. Yeah, I mean we we had some close games there, especially with um, Lance against Cheem the Mega Man. Cheem was playing yeah, super the game good. Game one was close. Yeah, but he got hit by that forward smash at the end, and Lance made a pretty pretty big comeback. That was a big good you know good thing good. Everyone at Detroit Catholic Central played so well, starting with the the Wii Fit who gave Detroit Catholic Central the like the like the positivity to keep going, giving them the one zero lead. Yeah. Lance. Probably playing against one of their one of their better players, giving also went to getting a big win there, and Padge closing it out, sh making sh 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 like showing that he wasn't like super desperate to win. He had a good mental going into it, and he proved that Detroit Catholic Central was the best team here today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. But you know, you still want to highlight uh, how good all these players are. You know, definitely. Some, yeah, getting some good gameplay. It was it was really fun to watch. Oh yeah, um, and definitely. We got to talk about the Divine Child side too. Team doing so well against the Troy Catholics, one of the Troy Catholics. Yeah, su such players. a great Mega Man player. You don't really see a ton of Mega Mans. And he's a very uncommon character and, Definitely. and pretty unconventional, you know, very weird but play style. At the end of the day, congratulations to every player who played today. Everyone played great. They're going home, if you're going home with a win or a loss, it's you, uh, everyone today should be proud that you made it here and that you've done everything you can for your team. It's, yeah. it's a good team bonding moment. Just, just making it here is, is just monumental. Definitely. And it, it's it's always fun too. It's it's always a fun time, uh, getting to play. Yeah, as someone who has played in high school and now to college, esports is just such a vast environment, and you can take it so far, you know, if you really wanted to. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it looks like we're getting close to the award ceremony here. We're gonna present the Dirt Catholic Center with a trophy. Yeah, and um, I I think uh they get a second place medal too, which is amazing. Oh yeah. 
And I think there's also some plaques given out for third and fourth as for for third and fourth as well. Yeah, I mean, just always getting an award feels nice. Even yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's not Make, what you wanted, yeah. but making it here kind of is the award, honestly. Yeah. Or that kind of is like the like the big like like trophy kind of it's like a mental trophy like wow i made it this far everyone gave it their all today uh, everyone to everyone today no matter how they played should be proud that they made it here yeah well getting close to the ending here you know thank you everyone to who is in chat on twitch for on if you haven't given oakland esports a follow yet if you're on twitch i'll give them a follow for everyone in person here today who came out to watch their family or they're just their relatives or their friends. We appreciate all of you for coming out. It was honestly a great tournament, and I'm glad you all could witness it today. Yeah. Yeah, make, make sure you guys do follow Oakland University uh, Esports, though. There's always, like, great matches going on. Yeah. It's, it's always – um, uh, we, got, we, got every, we got a bunch of great esports teams um, that play. Uh, we're, we're in the off season right now, though, but for next semester, we always have great matches going on. Yeah, follow Oakland Esports on Twitter. Outside of us commentating and hosting high school Smash events, we are – we also do compete in college, collegiate esports. We, we, we play Smash, we play Rocket League, we play Overwatch. There's a lot going on p past high school esports, and there's just so much to watch out for. And we also do appreciate everyone for coming out today. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a great event to watch. I mean, like w watching all of the games was, oh, yeah. was amazing. Definitely. It was a, it was a long day for, for some players, like coming out here, waking up so early, having to play for like, like all day. It's it's mentally draining. This might be some players' first times playing for this long in one sitting. You know, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, I know myself. Uh, waking up early and having to play a video game all day isn't. Uh, it's not always ideal. It, it's it's a fun Sounds time, ideal, but, but it, it can it can be tiring after a while. After definitely. after about the first few hours, it, it can be like okay, like I'm I'm pretty tired. I'm not playing my best yeah. anymore. But you know, it was it's a feat for everyone to come out here tonight and stay active. Have fun. I hope you all had fun today. Like it's, this is. I think this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good event. Honestly, there's a lot going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mario Kart tournament, the Open Smash tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Rocket League too. Yeah, every game is is fun, and especially when it's a close. We get close matches like um, Lance versus Team. It's it's always intense and, and definitely just, just a great match all around. It's the best environment, honestly. Yeah, but. There's there's nothing better than watching close matches where every, I mean especially when you're scrambling for that last hit too, seeing oh, like yeah. those last hit situations where where everyone's just scrambling to to win the game, but you don't. For uh, sure. Yeah, you don't want to get too nervous. Lance, yeah, I mean Lance versus Team. One, one, the unfortunate that semifinals couldn't have been Team. There were some really hot games there, but definitely Lance versus Team, the Rogue versus the Incineroar, and Padge versus Ganon. It was such a good. Like experience to watch. Yeah, unfortunate that um, it came down to a, a snake versus inkling. That's that's such a rough matchup. Wait, are we live? You know, and here's we're, you know we're getting started with the awards ceremony here. Congratulations to Detroit Catholic Central for winning the MHSEL Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championships. Yeah, great great job to them. Great job uh pulling it uh you know. Sticking it out as the one seed, it, it's it's really not an easy feat to win. Man, like no no matter what seed you are, whoever wins, it's never easy. Never. The, yeah. the one seed has a lot of pressure on them. They don't want to disappoint. You know, uh, it, it's 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 really hard. It's, it's yeah. Good job to them. And the Truck Catholic Central are going six and one today, only dropping one set, which is really impressive. Yeah, great consistency coming out from them. Definitely, but you know we can't not we have to highlight everyone's run. I mean, honestly. Making it here is impressive enough, but also giving it your all today and keeping up with teams who are really good is just so impressive. But here we go. We're seeing Detroit Catholic Central receive their medals. You know, it's a, it's a great accomplishment for them, for the team. I'm glad they can come, go home with a win today. Yeah, for sure. But wrapping it up, taking a big group photo. You know, it's... Yeah, you always, you always want to get that group photo in. It's a, it's a great memory to have. Looking good, looking good for the camera. I mean, it's a big win. It's a not only a win for the team, but a win for the whole school. Which does, is does uh does your school like hang up those pictures and stuff? Yeah, the Detroit. For those of you who don't know, I am an alumni from Detroit Catholic Central, so a little hard not being biased. But we usually hang up a 
like a banner for every single state championship we win. Yeah, that's that's amazing. awesome. It's it's very very cool stuff to, to know, be a part of that. Congrats to the Catholic Central. Good win today. Thank you all for coming out. I've been Trisket or Tristan Toma. Yeah, and I'm Anthony Cod. Anthony isn't cool. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming out. Peace.